When Team Manager is sending your PLC data to an SQL database that uses a trigger, like time or an event, to initiate the transaction. So, when does the trigger get rearmed? Team Manager has the flexibility to define when to rearm your trigger, and this is defined through what we call handshaking between Team Manager and the data source or destination. Let's say Team Manager is reading PLC data and inserting it into an SQL database. And in this case, you want to be sure Team Manager has gathered the data from the PLC before you clear the PLC tags and repopulate them. Select Receive from Source if you want to rearm your trigger once Team Manager receives the data from the PLC. Team Manager also has a nice feature called Store and Forward. So we have a handshake mode called NQ. This is the default handshake mode. Since Team Manager can store and forward, you don't have to worry about a data destination issue stopping your trigger from firing. In this case, the trigger rearms when the data is sent to the destination, or it rearms when Team Manager sends data into its own store and forward memory. Let's say you can't keep production going unless you know your data has been received by the destination, like in the case of a recipe download or high-speed sorting. In this case, you want to rearm the trigger after the data has been confirmed to be received by the destination. In this case, use sent to destination. You can see here that T Manager assigns a status value to the handshake. That way, you can assign a logics tag to monitor the handshake status. For example, if the handshake status is 10, the data was received from the source. If the status is 20, the data is in queue. If status is 30, the data was sent to destination. Now Quentin is going to show you how to configure handshaking. So once you have your transaction set up and running and functioning properly, you're going to want to come into the trigger that is firing that particular transaction that you're wanting to monitor the handshake. In this case, my transactions app outbound, and I'm just going to do this on trigger one. You're going to come down to the message path, click that message path, hit edit. Um, Pick the tag that you want the status or that handshake value to be written to. So you open the tag list, pick the controller, go to that tag. In my case, I just have it called status trigger basic. Uh, so you need to right click it, make tag writable since the team manager is going to be writing the value of the handshake to it. Pull that over here. And then you can hit OK. Um, we open that back up. Receive from source is going to be writing a value of 10 if you set it to that. And what that means is that team manager asked the PLC for the tags. It responded and gave us the tags. We haven't sent them to the database. So most of the time, nobody uses that, right? NQ means it can be in the store and forward queue, or it can be sent to destination at the same time. And then sent to destination means it's only sent to destination you're not utilizing the store and forward queue so we default to NQ because we assume that you're writing to the database and you have store and forward turned on so we'll show you how this works so I'll click NQ hit OK on that guy save that off so I hit OK start this project up come back and make sure our triggers running you see it's starting to fire. So if we go into the Studio 5000, look at that status trigger basic, reset it to a zero. When it's successful, it writes a 30. Set to zero, successful writes it to 30. If we were, for instance, to pause the, the endpoint or stop it, that's going to force messages to go into the store and forward queue. So now this value is going to be a 20, right? So it's not making it to the database or MQTT broker in this case, set it to a zero next time it tries, it didn't make it. So it goes to 20 for that it's in the store and forward queue. That's a real simple high level overview of handshaking with T Manager and how you can monitor each transaction with the trigger that it's tied to. So I'll start this back up. It's now writing a 30 again. Thank you.